Another Ghost of Tsushima video, and this one is right to the point. I believe I have found a contender, everybody, a contender for the most triggered journalist talking about this wonderful game. Let's take a look. This gaming journalist, Dia, has been talking about Ghost of Tsushima since all the way back in 2017. This tweet is from November 3rd, 2017. You're missing plenty of context and, you know, it's because the stuff they're talking about is from three years ago. And I don't even really know what they're talking about personally. The point is, keep this in mind. She was talking about it back in 2017. 2018 now. Fast forward a year. 2018. And she is also complaining about Ghost of Tsushima then. She tweets, Ghost of... Oh, she, she spelt it wrong, by the way. Great journalism here. Ghosts? No, no, no. Ghost of Tsushima. There you go. You're welcome. So... She says, ghosts of Tsushima could be the second coming. Sucker Punch can still eat my hole. And I redacted that word. It's disgusting. No one wants to even think about that part of you, let alone actually perform that action. Okay. And then she says, fact, Persona 5 and Final Fantasy FX have 100% more native actors than infamous Second Son. You know what? I'm sorry. I got to talk about that some more. We can't move on just yet. She was talking about her behind if you didn't, if you didn't get the memo. Who writes like that? Who writes like that? You're a gaming journalist. You expect people to take you seriously. It doesn't help that you make tweets like this on top of the fact that gaming journalism is basically a joke in this day and age. I mean, this is just such an embarrassing look. What a terrible industry, a joke, a joke of an industry. Same gaming journalist also had this to say in 2019. Dude, she's so mad about Ghost of Tsushima. So upset. She says, we already have a game about white guy misunderstands samurai, thinks he's an expert. It's called Neo, and it's great. Neo is a long form, slow burn dunk on the Brian Ashcrafts of the world, and it has a hot pink Shiba Inu spirit that gets rowdy and spits lightning. I don't know how Ghost of Tsushima thinks it's remotely going to compete. <laughs> okay, so this did not age well for you at all. May 19th, you're talking about how this game, uh, you know... It, it, <laughs> This game's basically going to flop because it misunderstands Samurai, misunderstands Japan, etc., etc. And what actually happens, uh, Famitsu gives the game a perfect score, one of only three Western games to have received a perfect score. And by far, it seems like the consensus of Japanese people is that they really enjoy the game. But yeah, by all means, go ahead and try to act all smart on Twitter. See how that goes for you. <laughs> and hey, man, that's no shade at the game Neo, by the way. Moving on. So this gaming journalist has been upset with Ghost of Tsushima from apparently like 2017. She's been thinking about this game for years. And it all led up to this moment where she writes this hit piece against the game on some website the other day. And it's not even worth reading in my opinion. You have to know that she basically calls the game racist. And she claims, you can see here in the highlight areas, that it falls in line with imperialist ideology, which is a remarkably moronic take, in my opinion, because Imperial Japan, what was that, mid-1800s or so? And the uh, Ghost of Tsushima, the, the Mongol invasion of Japan, so to speak, was around the uh, 1150s, I believe. Okay, I was slightly off with the time period for the Mongol invasion. That was more mid-1200s, not mid-1100s. And I guess specifically more so the latter part. It says uh, it took place between 1274 and 1281. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you got a laugh. TLDR, gaming journalist, has been mad for years about Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is now doing exceptionally well, and she's probably more mad than ever. See you guys in the next segment in a few hours.